Hey, functional text writers. We have been learning about functional writing, giving directions on how to do things, taking care of kittens, how to take care of puppies. And today we are going to you, uh, go move on to a different type of functional text and functional writing. And today we are going to be reading one, two, three, ocean, draw ocean life, a step-by-step -step guide for drawing ocean life. So eventually you are going to need your writing notebook and your being a writer um, student writing practice book, okay? So eventually you're gonna need this. And let me screen share and we'll get started with our functional text and our functional writing. Okay. One, two, three, ocean, draw ocean life, a step-by-step -step guide. This is kind of like a book of a directed drawing. You know how we do those and I give you the step-by-step -step directions? It's kind of like a whole big book of it. Lots of different animals in here to draw. We're only gonna be using one page though, okay? So let's start off by, we have our table of contents and it tells us the different kinds of um, sea life that's in here. And it also is giving us important drawing tips. So this is functional text because it's giving us tips on how to do something very well. Draw lightly at first, sketch so you can erase extra lines later. So I know a lot of students when they draw, they push down really hard on their pencil, but then when you erase, you can't really erase it. So sketch, draw lightly. The first few shapes are important. Notice the placement and sizes and positions of the first shapes. Practice, 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 and have fun drawing ocean life. So today, our functional text is we are actually going to draw. Today is drawing day in writing. <laughs> and this, we are going to draw a dolphin, which is pretty cool being that we live here in Florida. Dolphins are six to 13 feet long. So it gives us a little bit of text about a dolphin. A dolphin is not a fish. It is a mammal that lives in the ocean. Mammals give birth and nurse their babies. A dolphin uses its tail to swim. Playful, friendly dolphins come to the surface and breathe air through their blowholes. They communicate language, communicate in a language of clicks and squeaks. Click, click. That's a horrible dolphin impression, sorry about that. So this functional text is step-by-step -step instructions on how to draw a dolphin. One way that it's organized, it's organized by step number. So step number one, it tells us exactly what to do. Your Being a Writer book has the same page, page 13, okay? So if you can't find that book, it's okay because we're gonna draw this together. So what you need, like the direction stated on Schoology is you need a blank sheet of paper, or you could do it in your writing notebook. That's fine too, I don't mind. I just thought if it's on a blank sheet of paper, um, it just might look nicer without lines, but if that's up to you, I don't mind. Okay, so we're gonna go through the steps one by one. Step one, look at the shapes and the lines in the first drawing. Here we go. Lightly sketch a small circle for the head. Draw a small eye. Start the dolphin's body with two curved lines. So this is functional text because it's telling us step by step how to draw. It. So we're gonna do it together. I'm gonna hold my blank sheet of paper um, horizontally, long ways, not vertical, long ways. Okay, so we do a, a circle a dot for the eye and the two lines, All right? So I'm gonna draw a circle, sort of in the middle of my paper, not the middle here, the middle on the right side. So I know all the zooming in and out. All right, here we go. Circle. I'm gonna push hard so you can see Hey, my pencil. Let's see if I have another one right here. Okay. Circle. Dot for the eye, and then two curved lines that come off. Okay. 
Oh, that's not good. I'm going to make it a little bit. See, I pressed hard and you can still see it. Okay. All right. So you do that now. And if you mess up, guess what? You can erase or you can just turn your paper over and do it on the back, which I'm going to do because I don't like that. It looks like a worm. I like how on theirs, it's humped over a little bit more. Mine looks like a worm. So I'm going to redo mine. Okay. Circle. Ugh, I still don't like it, but it's better than the first one. All right, step two. Draw the line, draw the dolphin's snout. It's called a beak. Add a dorsal fin. So this is picture one, picture two, picture three. So we're matching the steps. So we need the snout and the fin. So I'm gonna take my mine and turn it this way to draw the snout. <laughs> it looks like a bird. Maybe that's why it's called a beak. And the dorsal fin. This is not my best artistic work. I can tell you that right now. So sorry. Okay. So do those two things and then we'll go to the next step. If you're not ready, you know what to do. That just looks funny. Okay. I don't like my fin. Is that better? No, it's not. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Step three. Draw two flippers using curved lines at the tail. Okay. So I can draw my two flippers. And then I'm going to add my tail. All right. <laughs> Sorry. This is not a good thing. Oh, you know what? I don't, I drew the snout pointing out instead of down. That's why it looks so much like a bird. It's a little better, I guess. All right. Oh, we need to draw the tail. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then step four. It says, look at the final drawing, erase extra sketch lines, shade and color your dolphin. So I am going to erase the circle line there. But again, you can't, you can still see mine because I was pushing hard. <clears throat> However, if you didn't see the lines, it would look a lot better then you can color it. Now, you know what I like to do. I always like to outline in marker and color in crayon your picture. You do what you want to do. So then I would also erase those lines. All right. So that was our lesson today on functional text. This author has given us step-by-step -step instructions on how to draw a dolphin. So hopefully you have done that and you now have the option of coloring your dolphin, oh, those two, right? The whole circle of coloring your dolphin. I guess that looks a little bit better. Not much. This is not my best work. 
And that was our lesson on functional text. Later on in the week, you are gonna be doing functional writing. You are gonna be writing step-by-step -step directions. But your job today is you are going to list in your reading notebook, writing notebook, five or more animals I can draw. What are some animals that you can draw really well? I personally clearly cannot draw a dolphin, so I would not put a dolphin on my list. But your dolphin might look fabulous, so you could add that. If you're really good at drawing dogs or cats, snakes are pretty easy, okay? I can draw an elephant pretty well, just his face. Okay, so you make a list of five animals that you can draw that you feel proud of when you put that work out there, okay? And tomorrow we will continue on with our functional text and functional writing. And I hope you enjoyed the lesson today. You can always go back into your um, writing or writing student book and follow the directions step by step if you want some more practice on it. Make your list of five animals you can draw because we're going to use it tomorrow and I'll see you tomorrow.